Hi, this is Yang Sang Cho, the president of Jadam. A lot of people face confusion while studying agriculture because of nitrogen, phosphoric acid, potassium, calcium, sulfur, magnesium, boron, cobalt, manganese, molybdenum, germanium, and selenium, which is needed in farming. People often talk about balancing these elements to be a successful farmer. And today, I'm going to talk about calcium and boron in this video. These are the vegetables that I grew from my farm, which is the most high quality of all time. And also even higher yield while not using chemical fertilizers. I do organic farm with 60 different kinds of vegetables every year, and I never did foliar application with boron and calcium. It's because it simply works without it, and even as a compost. Most of people often talk about balancing those components. However, once you try to balance it element by element, there is no answer but only trouble. You can choose the easy path, but those information leads people to spend more money. Is it just me who is not focusing on balance of MPKCAB? No. We have about 60,000 members who are using Jada method, and many of them are doing the same as me. There is a claim about importance of foliar application of calcium and boron that calcium and boron is immobile elements in plant. However, let me tell you one thing. That is bullshit. Do you think people in the old time used to do foliar application for chili farming? Not at all. They harvest it till the frost fall without foliar application. Okay then, here's one thing. If it is an immobile element, then can this beautiful nature exist with robust trees and all these plants? When there is a confusion while learning agriculture, we can realize and learn from the nature by just looking at it. This is an example that I occasionally use. Okay, so there is blemish on someone's face and that person asks doctor, why do I have blemish on my face? And the doctor comes with an answer. You have lack of boron and calcium. So what would you think if the doctor says something like this? Many of us know the complexity of human body, and this applies similar to plants as well. It is actually very childish to describe what specific nutritional element is lack or too much. In nature, there is no supplement to minerals at all. And it is still good enough itself. So what is the difference between nature farming and the modern farming? because we sell all our fruits and that leads to deficient of minerals in plants and that's why you need to supplement boron and calcium which is actually true so let me introduce groundbreaking materials to supplement the minerals that is needed for various other plants and that is simply the sea salt which is common as household item or moreover seawater as you can see, there are about 83 minerals. And if you look more closely, it's rich in sulfur, magnesium, calcium, potassium, phosphoric acid, iodine, and boron. What's even more amazing is the nutritional balance of the minerals in the seawater is very similar with amniotic fluid in mother's womb and fluid of plants. Even blood plasma of human is almost identical to this mineral. And many experts claim the plants and animals originally evolved from the sea. Almost 99% of the people who are involved in agriculture education, except me, says no to sea salt or sea water. But think about Korean peninsula. Three sides are covered with ocean. The most expensive agricultural products are produced near the ocean worldwide. Up to 3 kilometers near the ocean is the point where seawater always falls from the air. 
Seawater drops 24 hours and it's been falling for tens of millions of years. Even if that, farming is well done near the ocean. So using seawater is actually historically proven. And the use of seawater is not only recommended by me, but also if you visit Agriculture Administration of Korea, you can search for various papers there. If you search for seawater, there are dozens of related papers. You'll be surprised by its contents. It is very effective with no diseases. There are many advantages using it. What I want to say is just use the sea salt as a mineral that we'll be needing in farming. And trust me, it works. In this way, you can replace minerals you need for agriculture with sea salt in very cheap way. However, you shouldn't use that too much either. So we've empirically explained the right amount on the video. So the fruit contains between 0.8% and 1% salinity similar to human. And taking that into account and calculate the total harvest by weight times 1%. There comes the weight of the total sea salt amount that you will gonna need to put into your field for a year. If you think the calculation is too difficult, then you can think of 500 grams of sea salt is equivalent to 20 liters of sea water. This can be used periodically in regular crop field or orchard. So to do this, I'm currently recommending to use drip irrigation. If the irrigation is difficult, it is possible to take the salt and sprinkle a certain amount directly on the soil. And nowadays, a lot of farming techniques are into using foliar application. And I have been referring foliar application as similar to applying a hungry man with a nutritional cream, but not food. And I request to people, please do not focus on foliar application. It is best to use irrigation so that the roots can absorb it. After all, all these sounds may be nonsense to you. But so far, I know some of the things that are so different from what people know. I've done this many times. Many farmers follow the same method as me. And I'm not saying this without any scientific base. I graduated bachelor in chemistry, then I got a master's degree in horticulture. After that, I'm currently doing a PhD in Jeonbuk University. It is very difficult to balance all the various minerals artificially. Even the instructor can't actually do it right. You have to get away from this. In next video, I'm going to explain you how to balance all MPKCA and etc. in a right way. And this is a book about Jadam organic farming that I wrote. More than 40,000 people have read this book. And another book is about the herbs that can be used as a pesticide. It will be very helpful for your learning. And these books are translated into English and many other languages like Spanish, Mandarin, and Japanese. It is translated into many languages and sold worldwide in Amazon. You can easily find this book at Amazon by searching organic farming. And apart from this book, we also hold natural pesticide seminar at Dejan Jadam Education Center once or twice in a month. Many people come here to learn how to solve the problem that occurs in agriculture. And unfortunately, we don't have any English lecture that is happening in Korea yet. But we do have English lecture that is held outside of Korea as well, so that you can come and join us. And at the end of the seminar, we also issue a certificate for people who have finished the course. The farming season is almost complete, so I'm planning to upload all the formulas and recipes during this winter. The agriculture that we aim for is ultra-low-cost agriculture. It is an organic farming, but very low-cost, high yield agriculture. There is no future for farmers. In Korea, government has agreed on FDA with 52 countries. Import taxes on agricultural products will be reduced. The economy is in a state of low growth. The population is plunging. The demand for agricultural products will not expand in future. 
it will be difficult to get right price in the market. I'll teach you the method of natural pesticide that can go beyond and replace chemical pesticide. And I believe ultra low cost agriculture is the only hope for farmers. Thank you for watching.